Ah, welcome back, Slayers, to another Dragon's Dogma 2 video. Today, we're going to learn how to defeat drakes easily in Dragon's Dogma 2. Drakes are the imitation dragon of the game, and no, not the plague dragon from Melv. These dragons can be very challenging without the right party composition in early game. Now, setting up your party, there's multiple ways to gear up for battle. It's one of the great things this game has to offer. There's a lot of variety and depth to the classes. And each class is capable of taking down a drake. More commonly and easy early is hiring a thief pawn, as you'll see us bring, because thieves steal massive damage using fast attacks. In this example here, you'll see that as soon as the heart is exposed, the thief is doing just about two HP bars on its own, with me as the mystic spear hand doing little attacks here and there. Now the main goal when fighting drakes or exposing their heart as quickly as possible, we can achieve this by bringing the fight to them with an onslaught of heavy damaging options like sorcery magic. So of course bring one of those too. And on your sorcerer it'd be nice to have augural flare. This will create an orb around the target, in this case the heart, allowing for even more possible explosions. Now after a set period of time of not attacking, the orb will disappear, so that's why the the thief is here for their fast attacks to proc the explosion. And then the more attacks you add to it, the more damage the explosion does. And this is where you see the three HP bars just disappear. All thanks to the sorcerer. Now for my playstyle, I actually tried to go in fight one with warrior using the lightning hammer. If you missed where you can actually get this sweet lightning hammer from, check out this YouTube short here. And to no surprise, it was far more challenging than going in with Mystic Spear Hand, and an incomplete Mystic Spear Hand at that, as we were just taking it out for a spin and still leveling it up. Nonetheless, after a full onslaught of damage around the glowing area, the heart will finally expose. I like to have my Arisen at the back legs to avoid the onslaught fire breathing. Do watch out for tail whips though, as those can be deadly, as well as a dragon slam attack from landing when it periodically hovers. Major emphasis on onslaught of damage. You don't want the dragons to start doing funky things like summoning lightning, even floating in the air and dealing different range of fire damage. Nonetheless, once you survive the onslaught, if enough damage is dealt or a heavy blow, the dragon will fall to its side. Heart fully exposed. Hired thief or yourself full burst heart and guess what? You just defeated your first drake. To note, carve and twin fangs are your best friends. Simple core skills on the thief make this the best burst damage in the early game on weak points. Pawn comps vary, and every class can do good against a drake, it just may take longer. For maximum efficiency, two thieves made for healing, and a fighter or warrior to tank hits and hold aggro. But of course, you are free to use all else if you please, so feel free to experiment and let me know what you prefer down below. If you found anything useful, make sure to spank! Ah! that like button and subscribe as Talon Slayer creates educational content all the time.